I, I love the Postal Service, both the band, I, and it's taken me a while to admit that because I really liked the Postal Service when I was like 16, and then when I was like 19, I was like, oh, it's overly saccharine and like too sickly sweet and too sentimental, and I'm, we don't fuck with Ben Gibbard anymore. We're all about like Japan droids. And then when I, I came back and I was like, you know what? I respect them for putting their heart on the sleeve, and at the same time, they made like one really good album that is a perfect representation of their ethos and then they fucked off which is gonna get the video demonetized but i had to put some emphasis on it okay that's honorable you can probably tell from the way that i make content if i came out with like a debut album that got like best new music on pitchfork like my ass is putting out one new album every 18 months until i die whether they're getting fours, twos, fives, nines, like it doesn't matter. I'm staying in the studio, I'm pumped. Some of it might be amazing, some of it might be garbage. It'd be more like a guided by voices type thing. They'd be like, Bob Pollard is amazing. Then he'd come out with like 10 bad albums in a row and you'd be like, he's washed. And then he'd come out with one that's like surprisingly good and you'd be like, he's back. Then he'd come out with like another four that are like completely meritless and you'd be like, nah, he's washed. But then he'd be, he got another one in him somewhere. Anyway, but in terms of the mail, I actually think you're right. I don't want this to seem as anti-postal service. Quite the opposite. I respect the postal service so much um, that I think you should let them do what they're good at, which is like sending important stuff through the mail. And you should stop having them get in a truck and deliver you like one Pokemon card that you bought on eBay. Like, we're burning a lot of diesel, man, just to get, like, one piece of paper from <laughs> from someone else's house to your house. I genuinely, I have not bought any, I, the only thing I buy on Amazon is fridge filters. Because I, it's like the only place I know that sells the water filter for my fridge. So like once every four months, my fridge is like get a new water filter and then I go to amazon.ca. I have to log in and then buy it and then it gets sent to my house. But I always feel bad like when the truck pulls up and I'm like, dude, you were really out here like just delivering me my fridge filter? I live in a city. Like what is it like if you live in uh, like a rural area and Amazon pulls up? Don't you have to like tip the driver or something? It's crazy. I recognize, like, it's kind of a, it's a zero-sum game. Like, when we buy stuff from Costco, like, it went through a similar process of, like, getting on the truck, being shipped from, you know, like, the producer to the distributor, then to the warehouse, and, like, et cetera, et cetera. But, like, at least I met him halfway. Also, I know this is, like, a very, very for most people, a very minor thing, but I'm all about, like, 90s maxing right now, whether it's a real thing or not. Um... I'm just sick of the fucking cardboard, bro. I'm sick of the cardboard and the, the air bags and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, so I, I got like a, a, you know, Gatorade powder in the mail, but now I've also got to get out the box cutter, break down a cardboard box, you know, shove it in my cardboard box, recycling envelope, which is then now stuffed to the gills as a result of the fact that, you know, there's been so many online shipments and stuff like that. Like, I'm, I'm very much becoming a go-to-the-store kind of Andy, man. I'd rather them break down the fucking box. I'll pay him a slight premium for them to break down the box. That doesn't bother me. I'm not Unabomber posting, okay? No! <laughs> oh! My bone heart. What a waste, man. What a shot. No, it's not Ted Post thing, okay? I do not stand the Unabomber. That's why I'm always insulting him, saying things like, Rip Ted Kaczynski, you would have loved rocket racing in Fortnite. Like, that's, that's me punching down. I'm 
hitting at someone who can't defend themselves. Which, honestly, he can't take offense to, otherwise he'd be a hypocrite. Dude was sending nail bombs through the mail. Like, he wasn't even dropping them off himself. He was like, you take care of it. So, like, what's he doesn't have a leg to stand on if he wants to maintain, like, intellectual coherentness, okay? Is he alive? Um, in a way... In a manner of speaking, he's alive. In a metabolic sense, no. Or like a, <laughs> like a cardiac output, not so much. But like in the history books, yeah. Anyway, I'm just saying, they, again, I'm not saying don't order from Amazon necessarily. Like you decide what works for you in your life. It's actually, people act like it's insane, but I think it's smart. Sometimes I'm like, I want something. And then I think about, A, the financial cost that comes with it which sometimes carries a little bit of pain. And then B, um, breaking down the cardboard. And I'm like, I'll just get it from the store, honestly. Maybe it's completely crazy or like foreign to you, but genuinely, if, um, if Amazon had a service that was like, we'll just give you the product and we'll take the box, I would use the website way, way more. <laughs> I, I really would. Like, I don't mind if I open an Amazon box and there's like seven things in there. I'm like, that's a good trade. I break down one cardboard box. I get seven things that we needed. Body wash, cat food, kitty litter, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe a multivitamin or something. But when you order one thing and it comes in one box, I'm like, you should take the box, bro. No, they can't take the box. If they took the box, they wouldn't be able to get the Prime Jet. They wouldn't be able to fly the Prime Jet. Fuck you. And fuck your jet. Not worth. Not, not worth in the slightest. Amazon drivers don't have time to take the box? Yeah, I'm, listen, 22-year-old, I'm on the side of the drivers, okay? I literally said I feel bad when the drivers come to my house to deliver me like an air freshener. Like, you burn like a liter of petroleum to get me something for like three cents cheaper than I could have bought it at Walmart. Ooh, we will be taking that. I'm saying on a corporate level, they should send Andy Jassy to your house to pick up the boxes, okay? You would have burned the same gas going to Walmart? Yeah, but it's like my time that I'm spending. You know what I'm realizing is it's funny that people are always like ragging on streamers for like using DoorDash and stuff like that. And I'm like, I know, I'm just like you. I don't even want to get shit delivered to my house. I'd rather just go to the store. And they're like, no, that's crazy. You would be the motherfucker showing their Dash Pass on screen and be like, check it out, Dash Pass saved me like nine grand this year. The only thing separating you from the average streamer is the partnership contract. Why are you acting like you and me are the same? We're in it. I'm, I'm not quite homesteading, okay? <laughs> Let's not get ridiculous. I'm simply saying. Bottom left camera? Okay, okay. I can do that. I'm not quite ranching. Not quite. They should do door- they do do DoorDash wrapped, don't they? I need it. I'm in college. Dash Pass helps me function. Mods? Put a lump of coal in their stocking. I did not grow up rough, okay? But at the same time, the idea of being in a position in college 
where I could have spent $29 on a $9 burrito is insanity to me. You know what we did? We ate what we had in the house, or I will say it was different, you know, things were a little easier back then. $5 footlongs were popping off, so sometimes you could get a $5 footlong, eat half, and then put the other half like in the fridge and eat it the next day. We were not ordering any damn DoorDash. We were ordering from, you know, VIP Chinese food, where back in 2007, a General So's chicken combo, white rice, you substitute the fried rice for white rice, comes with an egg roll, comes with wonton soup that's 99.7% water with one little flour square inside of it. It was uh, $4.99 plus $2 for delivery. And then you split it two ways. No, we weren't, we weren't fucking with Dash Pass, bro. Are you kidding me? Shit was not gonna happen. That was a good shot. I gotta hand it to. I didn't expect him to have that heat. Clayton Kershaw. It's twelve ninety five now. All the more reason to not order that shit on DoorDash, bro. Because by the time it gets to your house, you're like thirty three bucks all in. Shit's more expensive now. Exactly the reason you shouldn't be using <laughs> DoorDash. <laughs> Also, what did the librarian back me up here? What the hell is going on with I was poisoned? There's a new trend. People start, they used to post pictures of the food that they thought poisoned them. And admittedly, sometimes it was poison. Like it was an, a, a raw chicken breast or something like that they got from a restaurant. Now they post a receipt of what they bought. And I'm like, that shit does not, I, if I was the restaurant owner, I might actually send them like a cease and desist in the mail. You can't just post the receipt of the food that you bought and be like, this poisoned me. That's not why we're following the account. Post a picture of the thing that you think poisoned you. Like, I, okay, there's proof that you bought a salad from Sweet Leaf or something like that, but where's the proof that the salad fucking poisoned you beyond, you know, source I made it up? But I was like, I wanted to go off on the tweet because when they posted the receipt, the salad was 19 bucks. By the time they got to their door, it was 31 bucks. And I said, brother, you didn't just get poisoned. You got poisoned and you got robbed. I'd be throwing up too. So what, you're not threatening to sue over a receipt? Um, if I owned that place, I would also have my, I would have passed the bar. So I would, it would honestly be pro bono. You don't know what I would do. You don't, you don't know how insane I am. You don't know how mentally ill I am. Yes. Maybe it's, it's fun at least. Yeah, post some more blurry photos of diarrhea, please. That's why I'm following the account. Like, you know, it's not that I find it pleasant to see. I just find it funny to see. It's two very different emotions. No, I like when they post the food. But the, the best I was poisoned reports, it's always like... I ate this thing, it made me sick, and then I went back for more the next day, and now I'm violently throwing up. That's the dream, man. More of those, please. Yay. Oh, you have been rewarded. Diarrhea is already blurry. Honestly, I never really thought about it that way. That's a damn good point. It comes out the damn orifice a little blurry. That's how you use death's list. Yeah, why not? Switch topic, please. We have to do, wait, this is just like, you know what? It's Sine 2 Nurdle. We have to do this once per stream. I talk about diarrhea every stream. Then someone says, why are you talking about diarrhea? And then I say, why are you still here? 
Some people are allergic to vibes, bro. They always got to throw the vibes off. I don't get it. I would honestly say one of my great skills, maybe it could keep me alive during like a post-apocalyptic situation. I am a vibe respecter. Almost had you. Maybe not respecter, let's call it preserver. I am good at preserving the vibe that exists in a situation when I'm introduced to it. Some people are vibe enhancers. Some people are vibe destroyers. I'm a vibe preserver. If I show up and you're uh, eating edibles and listening to Thievery Corporation, I'm not gonna blow that up for you. If you show up and you're listening to LMFAO and taking shots, I'll preserve the vibe. I would say we take. Status quo, Andy? We, when it comes to vibes, sure. What if you became part of a cannibal cult? I would, I would preserve the vibe. I'm just, I mean, it's just me being true to myself. Many of you would preserve the vibe too, but you're just too cowardly to admit it. My ass is not getting eaten because I want to like be self-righteous in that situation. I would rather be alive. But like the whole, I wouldn't, I would tell myself, despite the effects being the same, I would tell myself I'm better than the other cannibals. Because I would be like, oh, they're doing it because they want to. I'm only doing it because I have to. I would probably rise through the damn ranks, too. I would be like, that guy looks delicious. <laughs> Because if I'm going to eat a person, I want to be like high up on the totem pole. I don't want to have to eat any like human organ meat. I think if me personally, if I had to choose, I would say probably like the thigh. I'd have to imagine the thigh would be close to the best. What do you think? Brain? It's not my cup of tea. I'm not a sweet bread Zandy. Butt cheeks? Um, maybe, maybe. I mean, it is, it's the largest muscle group in the human body, right? There's gotta be some marbling down there as well, for most people at least. Ribs? It's crazy, I mean, this is too much. This, uh, it's funny, the diarrhea stuff, I don't really care if people are like, this is gross. But I'm, a, despite not being vegetarian, I'm a vegetarian respecter. I'm like, this must suck to hear if you don't like eating meat and you find that disgusting. I, I'd like to apologize out there for talking about stuff that you could buy in the grocery store. Anyway, I was taking a big old diarrhea dump and, you know, the callus on my brown eye was meh, meh, meh. Five preserves. But I was gonna say, it's crazy that like ribs taste amazing on every animal that I've ever had rib meat on. They really broke the mold at the butcher shop with that one. Chicken? I've had, I don't know if I've had chicken ribs. I'm trying to think, I've had like chicken. Yeah, no, you know what? Of course I have. S with Chalet, back me up, VIP Daniel. If you get a quarter chicken with the breast, you're getting some ribs. The chicken ribs are not all that, but could be worse. I'm getting one of my ribs removed this week. This hits close to home. Uh, info, are you Marilyn Manson? Or is this like actually a serious medical concern? In which case I apologize. I didn't know they, they, they were in there, like, removing ribs. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know that that's something that's, that's done, I don't want to say routinely. I, think, I mean, as with everybody else talking right now, the only time I'd ever heard about it was the urban legend that Marilyn Manson got one of his ribs removed so that he could suck himself off. 
which if so, that plastic surgeon should uh, lose their license and also receive a medal. Because that just seems irresponsible, but also kind of sick. Like that's, if, <laughs> if nothing else, it really shows you how far humanity has come, you know? We went from fighting saber-toothed tigers just to, like, keep our species alive. And now they're like, oh, yeah, no, sorry, I can't do Saturday. I'm having my ribs removed so that I can suck myself off. Like, that's, you've, you've conquered this planet at that point, I guess. Yes, uh, hi, my name's uh, Dr. Avis, uh, rent a car, um, is a maiden name, of course. Uh, yeah, I specialize in a unique form of plastic surgery. It's a uh, uh, dorsal rib removal for the service of my patients to uh, suck themselves off and come in their own mouths. So for that, I had to, of course, I did my undergrad, and then I took my MCATs, and I did, you know, general uh, studies in my MCATs, and then I, uh, you know, I, my grades were good, so I got into plastic surgery, which is very competitive, and then I apprenticed for uh, 17 years under uh, Dr. Otto Fellatio, and then uh, now I've opened my own practice, which is an inspiring story. Send it. Dr. Otto Fellatio, I'm dead. Baldur's Gate 3 really won game of the year when Spider-Man 2 gameplay is like this. Video of Dr. Octopus sucking himself off to completion. What do you think? Did that work? <laughs> All it took, uh, Macros, I know you're a VOD watcher now. I'm so back, okay? I had been one of Baldur's Gate 3's uh, biggest haters simply because it's funny. Now I'm back on the side of the Baldur's Gate enjoyers because the tweets from the Spider-Man enjoyers are way more annoying. Baldur's Gate brought me back. Now, should it have won Game of the Year? No, it's well known that Lies of P got robbed in every possible way. Good joke? It's not a joke. Did you see Daniel's tweet? No? Dio Guiga's here! Guiga's back! Can't go that way. Didn't Daniel trash every good game under the sun? Do you ever hear that a broken watch is right twice a day? Never heard that? Well... That's for the best, because it doesn't really make sense in this situation. Even if the watch is telling you the right time, if it's broken, you probably wouldn't want to rely on it. But it is interesting when you think about it. Ooh, I would roll that. An actual watch is right all the time? Clearly this motherfucker owns a Casio. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure that's Timex. <laughs> I don't know if Casio has a has a slogan like that. You know what's crazy to me? Um, I mean, this is stuff you gotta recognize. I'm leaving myself. Most streamers wouldn't say this because they're too sensitive. Um, I'm maybe the best of all of them. Uh, when I was in school and I learned stuff, I kind of took it for granted, right? I was just like, oh yeah, of course, like this is, you can make a nuclear submarine that is powered forever and com runs completely silent under the ocean, right? When you get a little older, you almost start to have like a little bit more uh, appreciation for like the wonder of, uh, of the world. How crazy is it that there are just like, Radiation is not something that mankind invented. Like, that shit is literally... There are, like, radioactive rocks on the Earth. 
That shit's insane, bro. What do you mean by that? Well, like when I think of a rock, it's just like a hard surface, right? It's like a, a, a material that's just like hard, full stop. But then there's like, there's rocks that fucking shoot protons out of them. It's not, I guess technically it depends on what it's shooting out, but like, that's crazy. Like, that's not what I would consider a normal problem. Like, let me put it this way. If I lived in 1800s, my ass would basically be like, essentially a caveman, I think is a good way to describe it. Like, I would just be the same as I am now and the same as I was in like the year 10,000 BC. The only difference was like, I wouldn't have sine to nurdle, right? I would, you would not catch me being like a scientist and coming up with like all this amazing shit. The best I could hope for is being the guy who like invents a new kind of sandwich and then like retires off of that. Cause you would not catch me doing like what Marie Curie did and being like, oh, hey, hey, you see this rock here? I, do, I got an idea. What if I wrapped like photosensitive paper around this uh, rock and saw what the pattern looked like and then did it with like, you know, 15,000 rocks and nothing fucking happened. People were probably like, what are you doing, Madam Curie? Stop wasting your time wrapping paper around rocks. And she's like, no, 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 just one more rock. And then guess what, motherfucker? That shit was radium. She's like, what the hell is it put on like a weird pattern on the paper? What's going on with that? And then like literally a hundred years later, you've got nuclear powered submarines traversing the entire globe. That's crazy, bro. She did get rocked. Okay. No disrespect to Marie Curie. Obvious. How could they have known? Do not... <laughs> Some of you guys are cool. Do not read the Wikipedia article about radiation or radioactivity, I should say, because did you know that after radioactivity was discovered, there was like a radioactivity, um, trying to think, like a boom of radioactive inspired health products. So people would literally be like, try our face powder. It has radium in it like to excite your neurons or your your facial <laughs> collagen or something and then it it didn't take them this is why i think diet coke is good for you okay or at least not bad for you because it's been around since the 1970s and there's no legislation that has stopped it radiation they knocked that shit out in like 15 years they were like stop selling the radon cigarettes okay people are dying Let's talk lead. Well, they, people were just stupider back then. It, the lead is like a self-fulfilling prophecy, bro. As soon as they started using lead in the plumbing, the society became too dumb to know that it was bad for them. It's like getting so hungry that you're nauseous. It's like there's no way out of the trap. I caught in a trap. I can't walk <laughs> The worst Elvis impression of all time. Because I love you. Elvis is not Elvis. Elvis has left the building, people. By the way, the audacity of the Lion, the Witch, and the audacity of this bitch, Elvis Presley. Dude writes a song, Suspicious Minds, that's like... I can't be married to you if you think I'm cheating on you. And then that motherfucker was cheating on Priscilla like nonstop. Dude, dude literally made a, he went to number one on the Billboard Hot 200 with a gaslight anthem. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. Bro, it's not a suspicious, you were doing the shit that she's accusing you of doing, bro. This bit would have crushed in 1973. The crazy thing is, this is the right time for the bit. In 1973, someone would have shot and killed me for insulting Elvis. 
It's only because of the hard work of Sofia Coppola that I'm able to say the truth in the modern day. What the fuck? Or even like 10 years ago. Yes, <laughs> true. <laughs> true. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it's not. You would get killed if you said stuff about Taylor Swift or BTS? Well, luckily that's not going to happen because I think that those are two artists whose output I respect. What am I going to accuse BTS of? Oh, they said they're smooth like butter, but actually they're only as smooth as margarine? Like... They're only partially hydrogenated. Margarine is smoother. It's actually true, it's spreadable at room temperature. Well, no, it's, so is butter. Margarine is spreadable at fridge temperature, which doesn't make sense. <laughs> By the way, if any of you Diet Coke haters out there are using margarine on your toast every day, you really need to shut the fuck up, okay? We solved that one. Butter is not necessarily good for you, but margarine is like partially liquefied saran wrap, okay? So I'm just saying, if, if you're gonna let those of us who aren't in glass houses cast the first stone. It's so easy to spread. It is really easy to spread. I mean, my, my parents, I, we were a margarine household growing up. So I probably am consigned to death as a result of that. Because I definitely... And, like, the mistakes you make as a child are worse, right? Because they have more time to, like, um, multiply the effects of the long tail throughout the rest of your life. So I was probably eating, like, you know, margarine three to five times a week from... 1992 until like 2006. <laughs> oh man. This was like in the pre trans fat uh, awareness days, too. This, they were just sending it, bro. Then I remember like in high school, they started to be like trans fat is really bad for you. So we've, the government like limited it to one gram per serving. And then looking back, it's even like, if you see the 0 0.1 grams per serving on the back of like a snack food or something like that, you're like, how bad do I really want this? Do I really want the cosmic brownie bad enough? Meanwhile, like, while eating the Cosmic Brownies, we were like, people in the 80s were so stupid, bro. <laughs> oh, man. We got it all figured out in 2005. I'm 23. My body can handle it for now. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, isn't there some truth to the idea that if you're going to make mistakes... By the way, it's too late for me. But if you're going to make mistakes with your body, you should really do it when you're, like, 70. Because the, the long tail effects aren't likely to manifest before you die of old age anyway. You really don't want to make a mistake when you're, like, 3. Because then it's, like, it's got a long time to... To wreak havoc. I got hit with one question mark, which lets me know that I'm right. The question mark response is the last bastion of people who are uncomfortable with what you're saying. So true. Minus two? That would be the second last bastion. Thank you for illustrating that. I'm not saying you should start smoking when you're 70. I'm saying, like, if you were ever going to put, like, eight slices of salami on your sandwich, age 70 is probably, like, the right time to do it.
I did that at age 10. You and me both, we're cooked. So I'm just saying we could probably like help the younger generation. But then I'm trying to help the younger generation and they're like, I don't want to hear it, Grandpa. I mean, I definitely took a lot of um, like buttered salami sandwiches to school when I was in like the fourth grade. I don't really blame my mom though, you know, she's, she's working with the information that she had. She's not like a professional nutritionist. She's also just trying to get me to like eat and I was a picky eater, you know, she was doing her best. If I didn't want to get like a, a lethal dose of nitrates as a, as a preteen, then maybe my ass shouldn't have been so picky that's like, oh, I don't want to eat anything that's a vegetable or green or, oh, I don't want to eat whole grains. The, the whole wheat bread tastes so yucky compared to the white bread. Spoilers, they taste 99.7% identical, etc., etc. You know, she's got she's to pack the lunch and go to work herself, you know? They do not. I'm sorry to tell you this, they do. In fact, the, the thing that's crazy is they taste 99.7% 99 identical. And the 0.3% that tastes different is because whole wheat bread tastes better than, than white bread. So I'm, I'm hitting you with the double dose. It's a texture thing. My reaction when they use the husk of the grain, not simply the germ. <clears throat> Come on. Try it for a week. If, if after a week you're like, oh, that week was so hard, I'm going back to white bread, so be it. I am at day one, you're probably going to be like, this bread fucking blows. What a compromise. I can't believe I'm doing this. Day two, you're going to be like, yum, sandwich. Give it a shot, man. If you, I mean, if you're like 12, don't give it a shot. Just get whatever your parents are buying, okay? But if you're buying your own groceries, give it a shot for a week. What's your take on sourdough? Um, I'm an equal opportunity bread enjoyer. I love a sourdough. I have bread preferences, but I will eat any bread. I don't, I don't know if we're getting like a grocery store wrapped, like a Costco wrapped would go crazy. I think I'm definitely, especially in Vancouver, a very health conscious carb phobic, uh, part of Canada, I would not be surprised to see myself uh, as like a top 10% bread enjoyer. Speed up. Me at the deli counter, speed up. I'm not talking to staff, Chad. I'm talking to the person in front of me. Can't decide whether they want Irish ham, honey ham, or black forest ham. I did not listen to Ludwig's podcast about his viewers getting addicted to cigarettes, but the the start of the topic sentence has me interested. I would love to know more about it. Tell me more about this. That's all you need to know. Why well, lots of people are addicted to cigarettes, but like, is there is there something interesting here? Is there meat? Is there humor? Is there an anecdote? They're all about the Benjamins. I had heard that they're all about the Benjamins, yes. He visited his family in France and smoked a cigarette. That doesn't mean he's addicted to cigarettes. You ever wonder, you know how like, um, Dio Guiga, back me up on this one. Like half of the energy you spend on the bike is lost to heat, it's not even put out into the pedals. You ever wonder how much of uh, like conversation on Twitch is just lost to like meaningless sidetrack, like out of context conversations, bait, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera? Like we could be learning so much about society and so much about each other if it weren't for people just like trying to get a quick hit of dopamine instead by like lying. <laughs>
And then people will be like, male loneliness is real. Then when they get a chance to type, they're like, did you see a thing I made up? Make it make sense, bro. Says the straw man champion. See, there you go again. I've never won a straw man championship. Now you're just going and telling lies to get a, a quick hit of dopamine. But it's just a sugar rush, bro. It's not, gonna, it's not real energy. It's not going to replace real human companionship. Do delirium? Hey, the Guiga. No. I'll ask you questions about the fucking Guy Fox model of relative risk return in a low interest rate environment. You leave the entertainment to me, buddy. We send it. Hey, Murmur by REM is pretty good. Bro, that's REM poster. This is our moment. Empty hands, empty mouths, combi and reaction. I know exactly what you're talking about. REM gets, they don't get the hate or the love that they deserve. Most people just go, eh, they only got two songs. They do not have two songs. They have like nine great albums, but then like from 1996 till they retired in like 2017. They made no good songs. So I can understand why they're not getting respect in the modern day. But put some respect on, on Murmur at the very least, bro. Hey, we made it again. Slash marker. Repentance. 